Rub up your engines! Now here's a tale of woe, a warning. Lady bought this Mazda. It was dirty, it was rainy. Don't worry, we'll clean them, we'll do this and that. And then she goes out in a day like today, nice and sunny. Dots everywhere. Look at them all. Mazda had a lot of problem with the paint. The problem started, they're like, oh, well, you bought a used car. Oh, maybe we can touch it up. You can't touch this stuff up. It's just all these little pinholes. And the interesting thing is to prove that they didn't paint them right. If you go on a roof, it's perfectly clean because things generally don't hit your roof unless it's hail, right? I mean, the back and stuff, it's fine. But any kind of road debris, it just looks horrible, you know? And they touched it up. Some touch-up job, the paint isn't even close, you know? I mean, <laughs> she's got little dots all over the place. Now, she contacted me when I was in Tennessee, but since she's just down the road here from Rhode Island, she came here to Rhode Island. When she contacted me, I made a video, talked about it, and the dealership she bought it at contacted me. And they said stuff like, oh, Scotty, we're trying to deal with it. This woman's very hard to deal with, and oh, oh, oh. So what I said was, hey, Jack, I've been working on cars for 56 years. I said, my father taught me something years ago that if you're gonna run your own business, when a customer isn't satisfied, for whatever reason, just give them their money back and let them go on their merry way, right? But if you buy a used car from them and try to get your money back, you're gonna have to wait till their hands are cold and dead. They never give people their money back. Now this car's got almost 100,000 miles, 99.3 and you can see all the dings and everything on it, guess what? They were glad to get rid of it. They know this car is going to be a hard car to sell. As far as I'm concerned, it's gone. Oh, we'll touch it up, blah, blah, blah. What a sloppy job they did touching up, you know? Now, I'm going to go through the car itself. Generally, these are excellent cars. As you can see, it's like nine years old, but it's made in Japan. It's got the J, it's made in Japan. And it's an all-wheel drive CX-3. They're decent cars. They can last quite some time. She's asking, should I sell it, but tell people it's got the paint chips and lose some money? She'd lose a whole bunch of money, I can tell you that right now. That's just how the world works. Unless somebody couldn't see very well and didn't care, they liked the car, she'd lose her shirt selling it after just buying it as a used car that's almost got 100,000 miles on it, right? So we're gonna check it, and if it's still good, she'll probably just keep it and drive it around. Still, in the back of her mind, I'm Sure she's furious at the guy for selling her this car and not telling her what's going on. This is a big warning for everybody. If you're buying a car and you're paying a lot of money for a nice looking car, don't buy it on a rainy day. Don't buy it when it's dirty. Tell them you want it washed. Wait till it's a sunny day. Look at it. If you see this kind of stuff, all these little dots all over the place, probably don't buy it. If you're a fanatic about paint, you want it to look beautiful with all dots on it. If you don't care, hey, don't tell them you don't care. Tell them, oh, that's a deal breaker, right? And see how low they'll go, because they'll have to go low, right? But you got to do it on a sunny day when the car's clean, because they'll, oh, well, we'll wash it, we'll clean it up. Once they have your money at a car lot, they're not going to let go of your money until they're called or they're dead. I mean, they contacted me, you know, and, well, we tried, and I just said, hey, you tried, but you failed, right? You tried to get a problem fixed because you guys kind of screwed her over. You should have just said, here's your money back. But they got their money and they're not giving any of it back. That's how those guys go. Never sign anything until you're positive. If you're even looking at a used car and they want you to sign on the dotted line, don't sign on anything. Say, I gotta have my mechanic check it out. And if they say no, walk away. They're probably hiding something. Now, she's been quoted that she wanted to do a whole car and then coat this with the coating that keeps the paint from chipping. It's going to be $9,000. So let's face the facts. That's not going to happen. I mean, you can see the horrible touch up there. Look, it's not even close. This, this is like reddish golden and this is like pure golden. They didn't even try, really. You'll never get it perfect unless you strip it down, paint it all over. And then in this case, seal it. Interestingly enough, I had a customer and he loves this color. He didn't have a Mazda, he had a Honda, but he liked this color. So he had it painted this color and the same thing's happened. The paint's chipping off of it. So really, I would just stay away from this color. As nice as it looks, I'd stay away from it. You can see it is color code 41V. Stay away from color code 41V. Now, it could still be a great car. So, I'm going to get my fancy computer out and I'm going to go through it. It does have almost 100,000 miles and she wants to know should she keep it or not. 
So, here we go. First, we'll plug it in. Goes right under here. Oh, we'll turn it around. Back to the vehicle already. We'll do a standalone diagnosis. And we're going to see what shape this thing is in. Other than the paint. Got everything here. CX3, 2 liter automatic, all wheel drive, okay. A full topology scan, so we'll do a full scan. It's nicely set up. Black and chrome. Nice little console here. Easy to adjust. Heat and AC. Comfy seats. Got enough room in the back. Eh, getting a little tight if you had two big people, but hey, it's a small car. What do we have? Nothing. The car's perfect. Everything is green. So, we'll look at some live data too. We'll start her up. Look at PCM live data. We'll look at some of the data so far. As far as 0000, zero, 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 zero I'd expect that. It's running fine. Okay, equivalence ratio, it's almost perfect. 0 0.99, 1.00 0 is perfect. So, considering that it has 99,507 miles on it, being off 1 100th one of a percent isn't bad. And check it out. Now it's 1. 1.01, so it's perfect sometimes at 1. You can't get much closer than that. So it's an excellent running shape. There we go on the road test, you can see. It's got a decent backup camera. You can see quite well. Smooth. Extremely smooth. We'll go over to a little hump here. Sure, the steering wheel's got a little wear on it. Well, heck, you can get a steering wheel cover cheap enough. As we go down the road, hey, I mean, it's a small wheelbase. You're going to feel things. When you're going down a road, it's not going to be the cushiest ride. That's the one thing about these smaller SUVs. They're not going to be all that cushy ride. But we'll take off. Hey, not bad. Hey, step on the gas, it goes. Yeah, it has to rev up a little because it's a small engine. But it is Mazda's more modern Sky Active system, and it works quite well and gets good gas mileage. Shame about that paint, though. It kind of bugged me was mine. And a little Mazda zoom zoom car for the price of what these cost if you don't mind a slightly bumpy ride because of the small wheelbase. They are a lot of fun to drive around. And unlike most cars that I check out with 100,000 miles, this had no coach for anything. It has no problems whatsoever other than the paint wasn't applied well and it chips off too easy. It runs fine. has no real problems whatsoever other than the paint that's messed up, we learned do not trust the dealer as far as you can throw them. They will never give you your money back if you have a problem after they've sold you the car, especially used cars, because when the paint's like this, they're harder to sell, even though I found absolutely nothing wrong, relatively rare, I usually find something wrong. There's nothing wrong with this car other than the paint. So I'll tell her she can keep it, but for everybody out there, it's a lesson to be learned. Look at a car after it's washed, in the bright sunlight, walk around and check it out. And if it's got paint coming off, either get it cheap if you don't care about paint or look at the next car. And if you're even thinking about one of these with that paint coat on it, my advice is walk, because all the ones I see are the same. They all got this paint chipping on them. Something about Mazda, they didn't know how to paint this particular color. It's a rather unique color. Who knows, maybe they didn't blend it right. All I know is they chip off all the time. And here's some bonus questions and answers. RTZ says, should I buy an older car with less miles or a newer car with more miles? Hell, very good question. Normally I'd say older car with less miles because it's going to cost less and the newer cars cost more, right? That's generally going to be true, especially if you pick the right car. If you're looking at Toyotas, Hondas, whatever, the older ones are actually better made than the newer ones anyways. And unless they've got 8 trillion miles on like 350,000 miles. They can last a really long time. But if you're talking about stuff like American cars, Fiats, <laughs> German cars, they're endless money pits as they age. <laughs> you don't want a real old one, right? All the plastic crap starts breaking, right? So a lot of it has to do first, pick the right car. Don't just say, well, old car with less miles, new car with a lot of miles. First, look at only good ones like Toyotas and Hondas, right? And then go from there and see what's out there and what you can pay. And of course, regardless of what you're buying. Have a mechanic check it out used before you buy it. Never buy a used car without a mechanic checking out. You never know what squirrely deals people are trying. I've seen everything under the sun done. And guys like me, when we check them out, we've seen everything that people try to pull frauds and we'll be able to warn you about it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.